Hey everyone, welcome back to Owens Living. Uh, today, I'm just doing a little project and I thought I would take you guys along because I haven't really found a lot of recipes for canning garlic. Um, and I'll let you know how this one goes for me. Uh, basically, we had a huge harvest of garlic last year in the early summer. Um, it's now the last day in February and a lot of our garlic is going to go bad if we don't do something with it now. We normally use uh, minced garlic for most of our meals. So I'm gonna be um, just cleaning up the rest of this garlic that we've already gone through and pre-peeled. I'm just making sure that none of the like shelling is still on there and also that there's no brown spots. Um, and we will mince it and eat it. chestnut red garlic. Um, last year we grew three types of garlic. One was music garlic, the other chestnut red obviously, and then the third was Italian white. And I must say um, out of all three of these varieties, the chestnut red definitely uh, kept the longest. Um, I didn't have to throw very much out. The Italian white, we had to throw the majority out because it did not last as long as the other two. I think I only had maybe, maybe like four or five individual cloves, not even heads of garlic that the Italian white made it. All the rest was moldy or browned to the point where we couldn't use it. So definitely if you're thinking in terms of storage, I would for sure choose a storage variety such as music or chestnut red. Um, <clears throat> if you want to use Italian white, you might just have to preserve it earlier in the season. So yesterday, like I had kind of previously said, Dave and I went through all the heads of garlic that we had left um, downstairs in our basement and we went through them all, sorted out the good and the bad, and now this is what is left. I think I will probably have enough to do one four ounce can of uh, music garlic just by itself, and uh, maybe two or three four ounce cans of the chestnut red garlic. All right, so I'm gonna finish up prepping this garlic and once I'm finished, I'll take you guys into the kitchen with me. So now that I have all of the garlic prepped, I am going to make a brine that we will eventually hot pack the um, garlic in and then we will can it. So I also have my um, canner over here getting the jars ready. I just take the lids off and the screws off and put just the jars in there. Um, I fill them with hot water. I make sure the whole pot is filled at least one inch above the jars. All right, so for our brine, thank you. Um, we are going to be using olive oil, white vinegar, and lemon juice. And I've got my little helper here, Jensen, and he's gonna help me measure stuff out and pour it into our pot. Help me out, Jensen. Okay. So I am going to double this recipe because I think it this recipe that I'm following, I'll link it in the description below, but it's for two four ounce jars, and I think we're gonna have more than that. So I'm just gonna double the brine recipe and go from there. So we are gonna need half a cup of vegetable, or of olive oil. Huh? Let me help, hold on, I'll tell you when. Oh, okay. So one. Okay. Two. Take it on your hand. Here, 
I'll get you a towel. Next, we are going to do um, half a cup, or if we're doubling it, a full one cup of um, distilled vinegar. Half a cup um, or doubled would be one full cup of lemon juice. Always buy, when you're canning, buy lemon juice from the store. Don't hand squeeze yours because um, unless it calls for like freshly squeezed lemon juice or whatnot, because this has a very straight consistency or a straight acidity level rather than um, if you just hand squeeze lemons, the acidity level can vary and that can cause your food to go bad over time if it's not the proper level. All right, so we're gonna put this on the stove and um, let it start heating up. And meanwhile, while it heats up, we are going to mince or chop our garlic with our blender. I'm gonna smoothie afterwards, okay? All right, so let's Put our garlic into the blender. Jensen, can you help me? Let me put it in there. We're gonna do the music garlic first because I need to see if we're actually gonna have enough for um, just a plain batch of music garlic or if we're gonna have to mix all of it together. Blue! It is blue. sure there's at least half an inch of headspace at the top of this jar. I think that works out pretty well. Um, I do have some leftover music garlic in here, so we're just gonna mix the chestnut and the music together. Um, so now I'll go ahead and do the rest of our chestnut garlic. Okay, so now we have our jars filled. I used five jars. This one we'll just use for something else in the future. Um, so I'm going to now take my brine and fill um, each jar just to where um, to the top of the garlic cloves. So the brine has simmered, and now I'm just going to pour it in each one. If you can't tell, Jensen really wants a smoothie. just a minute to let the brain work its way down. I'm going to kind of use this to get in between all the edges and such. I am just going to take a paper towel and wipe the rims off before I put the lids on. We don't want any 
anything on the rim or like kind of where the screw band goes on because then we might not get a proper seal. And for these, you want it to be finger tight. So tighten it with your fingers. Okay. Oh, buddy. Thank you. Okay, now that we have our lids on and screw bands, I'm going to place these back into the canner. And um, we will bring the water to a full boil. And after that, we have to let it boil for 15 minutes. All right, so the water is boiling and now we will start our time for 15 minutes. So I just turned off the stove. Um, they've been boiling for 15 minutes. I'm now just going to take the lid off and let the boil stop on its own. Unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be a way to decipher between which one is the miso garlic versus the chestnut oak red garlic because the um, cans kind of move during the process. While I wait for the boil to die down, I'm going to make Jensen a smoothie because he was a big helper and is so adamant about having a smoothie this afternoon. And I did wash this and it only smells faintly of garlic. So hopefully this smoothie doesn't taste like garlic. take these out and put them on our kitchen table on a little heat thingy, heat pad, whatever you call it, and let them sit out overnight. Is that yummy? Yeah. All right, guys, I think Jensen and I are going to enjoy our smoothies, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.